Hi guys. It may seem strange sort of posting something so quickly after I'd posted something after being away so long. But when I open this box, you'll understand. There are some times when you just can't believe the skill of some people. And I know that even before I open the box. I bought this pipe from Chris at the Nottingham Pipe Show and I was blown away by it after I'd got it. Just the way it smoked, the line of the pipe and the care and perfection taken in making it. Like Mr Remington, I was so impressed by what I'd bought, I bought the company. No, I didn't. I bought some more pipes. I asked Chris to do me six pipes so that I'd have one for each day of the week. That's number one, which I've already shown you. In no particular order. That is number two. It's got a sim similar stem, but it's a very different pipe. Look at the grain and the colour. The skill of the maker. Chris if they're all like that, I'm blown away. Some of you may be wondering why I asked for six pipes of the same sort of design. <coughs> well, as I say, they smoke well and I like them. But I wanted something special. Because I believe that Chris at Eldridge Pipes is truly a very special pipe maker. I was going to say one of the best pipe makers, but I'm not going to do that. Sorry, I'm trying to get a Sorry, that's a bit dark. Maybe that's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Look at the colour in that stem. 
and the pipe looks much better in my hand than it does on that screen, unfortunately. One of the things that made me decide to ask Chris to make six pipes was watching him describe a pipe he'd made and just the look in his eye. Oh. Oh, wow. You can see how much I'm shaking. I can't hear the bloody thing. Look upon that, ye mortals, and weep. Wow. And that stem, it's a bit more yellow than it looks. But it fits perfectly. Look at the drain. When Chris made that pipe, he rang me up and said, told me about it, and said, if you don't want a smooth pipe, I can sell it somewhere else. But he only makes smooth pipes very, very rarely. He makes them when he thinks they're worthy of it. I just can't bloody believe that. It is, oh, it's just magical. Sorry for getting a bit emotional with that one. Ooh. On top of my move, this week, or this week month has been perfection. Um, what's this one going to be like? It's a yellowish stem. Oh, wow. Let's see whether we can get some better light on it. How's that? The stem just fits so well with the pipe, with the colours. Oh. I'm speechless. That's number four. There's two more to go. Oh. Again, the grain. This time, much browner. I suppose it almost looks orangey. 
and the film, but it's that's the it it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Can't quite get that right, but oh dear. Let's see whether I can throw some more light on it. But there. Pipe number five. Oh God. I don't deserve such beauty. Again, it's it's very difficult for me to to show you this one because again, it's a darker pipe, but it's it just fits so well with the stem. Oh well. One. I can't resist that one. So a final showing. One. And in it I've got a Rango Vulcan Supreme. <coughs> I don't know what you'd suggest smoking in that. But it'd have to be a perfect tobacco. This pipe deserves something special. Chris Tree, if you watch this, can you slip out and get another tin of that very ancient Sobrani that we smoked? Anyway, Chris, thank you very, very, very much. You've made an old man. Very happy. Yes, you have. By God. I would have paid double. And I'm going to say it. I know it's silly. And I know you'll be embarrassed by it. But I happen to think that you're the best pipe maker. Your imagination and your skill 
the two of you to something special. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to finish by asking for something special for all of you. May you each be blessed as much as I've been blessed today. Don't envy me the pipes. Forgive me for the way I've shown them off, and I've, I haven't done justice to them. I've shown them off quite badly and appeared quite proud. But I can never, ever deserve those pipes.